Uh, yeah, you know, you said it. Actually, it was just uh, came up short. You know, we were pushing. I thought we just got off to a slow start, but um, we hung in there, had some chances, just could not capitalize, and uh, you know, and uh, came up short on the special teams. I thought we would try to get get one there, and you know, it just came down to the wire. So it's just unfortunate that we didn't get a chance to to tie it up at the, at the end. Next, we'll go to Patrick Williams, AHL.com. Go ahead, Patrick. So, Joel, uh, what sort of challenge does Colorado present, uh, especially in their own building? Yeah, place is loud. Uh, the fans are engaged right away. Um, you know, they're a fast team. They, they play fast. They're good in the uh, old zone. So, you know, you're trying to slow them up is obviously a challenge for sure. You know, D-zone coverage and... You know, uh, small details off face off, stuff like that is uh, very important. So, you know, they, they're a team that can capitalize. They got a great power play as well. They got a lot of guys that can capitalize and a lot of shooters as well. So, you know, we got our hands full for sure. But it's just something that we're obviously capable of doing. And, you know, hopefully we get a bounce back game on uh, Friday. Joel? Uh, and Yuri, another, sorry. Go ahead, Patrick. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, yeah, Yuri, another strong uh, night in net. Um, what kind of growth have you seen from him, especially since he kind of took over from Logan Thompson? Part of this season. Yeah, Yuri's been, uh, you know what, it's, it's, it's been awesome. Uh, our goaltending has been the least of our worries. Um, ever since Logan left, Yuri kind of taken over and, uh, you know, he's done a heck of a job. I thought the growth of him, you know, he's from last year to see some of the stuff that he's been doing. I mean, hats off to Freddie for working with him. He's done an exceptional job. Um, you know, he went down to Fort Wayne and he came back and, you know, here he is and just he's been keeps delivering every night. So. Um, that's definitely not a guy that we're worried about on a day-to-day. -day. Uh, we know what he's going to bring his A game. He, he battles, and uh, just very happy to see him have some success, um, you know, and the improvement he's made just from last year alone. So, you know, the sky's the limit for Yuri, and look forward to see what his future is like down the road. Joel, for the this morning we talked about some of the, the young players, their first playoff experience. Falling behind one nothing, 30 seconds into the game is, is a tough adjustment for any player, but I wanted to take some guys maybe a little bit of time to, to to get comfortable in this game. Yeah, I think so. I think we're a little tentative uh, more than usual. I thought usually we've kind of been on our toes very good and, uh, you know, obviously we've been at home the last couple of days and maybe we scored one or two early ourselves. So um, definitely a little adversity for sure for our group. I'm glad that it happened early to kind of understand for the guys to understand what it's like to be in these playoff games. And so now they have a little taste, a little feel and um, know what it takes and understanding what the things you got to do to uh, win these games. They're, they're, they're tight, they're tough games to, to pull out, you know, especially in a, on the road in a hostile environment. So, um, you know, we'll get some rest here, regroup, and uh, go over a few things and then be prepared for Friday and, and hopefully have a better showing. And with that same thought process, the third period, you guys had a lot more jump and had your, your feet wet, it looked like. Is that something that you guys can, can carry over to game two to, to feel good about? I hope so. I hope so. You know, I we definitely we had some things to definitely clean up. You know, I think, uh, you know, giving up a shorthanded goal is definitely another one that kind of hurt a little bit. But I, we did build some momentum there at the end and knowing that we're capable of hanging in these games and coming on the other side of it. So um, our guys know what to do. It's just a game that I thought caught a little guys off nerves a little bit off the start. And it's tough to win these games when you only play uh, a certain amount of minutes in, in the hockey game. So um, you got to play a full 60 and that's what it takes to get against a team like that and place it here in this in this building. And but, uh, you know, we're up for the challenge. We've done we've we've faced adversity all year long. So um, looking forward to Friday.